This is Lakshmi. Today I am going to create a simple SSIS project where a flat file, source flat file is sent to the SQL server. So here I am, I am going to create a new project. Here I am going to selecting the template as SSIS and there I am going to take integration services project. I am going to give the name as employee details employee details uh, project name this is the uh, where the project is uh, location of, of the where the project is um, saved and this is the um, solution name also the same thing so i am creating a new project so this is how uh, it is created so now it is created first we'll go data flow tag this shows how the data is flowed so i am i am uh, selecting this and drag and dropping this so here what does it go data flow task if i double click here it will go into the data flow here whatever i'll do the double click on this the data flow will come so here the data flow that like how the data should be flowed these are the like what are the sources destination and transform if anything is required see the sources now i have a i have the data in a flat file source means i have kept the data in a notepad with with the column names employee id employee name employee department and salary and these are the data like the employee id 1 2 3 4 and this is the name and the de department employee department and salary so this is the data in the flat file data so this data is transformed into the sql server so that that one how we will do we'll see so here i am selecting the source file as flat file source see if i selected the flat file see if you see here we have a cross mark over here means the door data is there in that so for that i have to create a flat file connection manager i am creating a new flat file connection so this this flat file i am giving a name like employee flat file connection manager i am selecting this I am giving the description also the same thing and I am going to browse this file name. I have it the browse name in the desktop and the employee details file I am selecting open. See here we have all these things. If you see here in the columns we will see employee ID. This is the data which, which it has to be transferred into this SQL server. This actually this is in the uh, what we say this is a flat file so I am going to do ok so then here also ok so this cross mark has been gone the next thing is we have to do a destination what is the destination like I am selecting add your dead dot net destination see we are say destination here what we say I am connecting this flat file source to I am selecting this see we, we have a two two arrow marks will be there i am just removing this connection to explain you again So here I have deleted and this blue line is connected to this one destination. So this is the destination from the flat file source. It will come to the destination. Here we can see this cross mark and here we have to do again this connection manager. This connection manager is different. It's this connection manager should be given as the data. Uh, like what we, we have thought SQL server. From that SQL server, see if you want to see this is server name we have to connect this connector see this server name control c i have connected selected and i'll go to visual studio this connection manager i'll give to new already i have if for you i'll delete this one and i'll again create a new server name connection control v see this is the my my system it is sql server authentication so user sa and I am typing the password and here I have to select the enter the date now I will get the database student warehouse database and I am going to do ok
and here also ok then the user table or view which table I am going to use which table the data I should be go employee details table so here you can see the mappings like employee name see employee ID employee name employee department and this uh, for which one we want salary is employee salary this is the mapping means this is the source file this is the destination file so if you see an SQL server I have a table like SQL employee details table but I don't have any data see if you see this the student warehouse database this is a table like employee details table employee ID primary key employee name employee department and employee salary these are the four columns which we have here so the uh, we doesn't have any data that data which is present in this flat file should be transferred here into the SQL this is how what integration services do I'm selecting ok now that red mark has been gone so after that what we have to do mapping is over then we'll go for start see what was it to it will run see the both the tick mark has been come means I have five rows of data if you see here I have five rows of data that five rows has been transferred into this destination for that if you want to check here select star from employee details see that all the data which you have been um, transferred here I got it into this uh, SQL server this is how this integration services will help this is a source file what I have done has been inserted here and this through this connection this uh, like destination SQL server the data has been uh, inserted into the table in the SQL with the connection manager and the connections this is a simple example which I have done uh, today in this SSIS project thank you thank you for listening